Welcome to Statics. Example. Method of joints. In this example, we have a three-membered truss. It is supported by a pin support at B and a roller support at C. A force of 500 newtons is applied at point A as shown. We will find the force in each member. Our first step is to draw a free body diagram of the full structure. I replaced the pin support at B with X direction and Y direction reaction forces. I replaced the roller support at C with a Y direction reaction force. I also calculate the length of member AC. I will leave it in this radical form for convenience. The next step is to get the support reactions. I will first sum forces in the x direction to zero to get reaction Bx. It comes out negative, so it is acting to the left. Next, I sum moments to zero about point B to get reaction Cy. Last, I sum forces in the y direction to zero to get By. It comes out negative, so it is acting downward. I update my free body diagram to show the reactions acting in the correct directions. This will help me avoid mistakes later. My next step is to draw free body diagrams for my joints, then sum forces to zero at each joint to find my member forces. Here's the free body diagram of joint A. It has three forces acting on it. One is the applied force, and the other two represent the unknown member forces. Note that I draw the unknown member forces in tension pulling on the joint. Here's a free body diagram of joint B. There are four forces acting, two of which are unknown. Here is the free body diagram for joint C. There are three forces acting on it, two of which are unknown. I can start summing forces at any joint since they all have just two unknowns. I will start with joint A. I can be strategic here. If I sum forces in the x direction first, then I can solve for force AC directly since there is no x direction component for force AB. Solving for force AC, I get that it is negative 559 newtons. The negative sign means that the force in the member is the opposite of the way I have drawn it in my free body diagram. Since I drew all forces in tension, the negative sign immediately tells me the member is in compression. I show it like this. Now I sum forces in the y direction to zero to get force AB. I get positive 250 newtons. So member AB is in tension. I now have two of my three member forces. To get the force in member BC, I can use a free body diagram of joint B or joint C. I will use C since it has the fewest forces acting on it. Since I know that force AC is equal to 559 newtons in compression, I revise my free body diagram like this. Now I see that there is only one unknown force and I can solve for it by summing forces in the x direction. I get that force BC is positive 625 newtons. So it is in tension. As a final step, I will draw a force diagram, which is a free body diagram with the member forces shown. I identify the member force magnitude and direction using T for tension and C for compression. This diagram helps us visualize how the applied forces are transferred through the truss to the supports.